Hey everybody and welcome to the one where I talk about my experience at a coding boot camp. So it's a little bit of background as to why I joined a coding bootcamp. About two years ago, I had an idea for an app that I wanted to build and no idea where to start. After talking to a couple of friends about coding and how to get into it, they recommended some free online resources that I kind of floundered through for a little while. Found out that it wasn't my learning style and I was never going to make it if I kept down this track. At that point, I kind of forgot about coding altogether. I just got a promotion at work, left it on the back burner. I was getting busy. A few months later, as I was driving down the road, I saw a billboard for a boot camp. It said, life's too short for the wrong career. I looked it up online, found a bunch of information on it and was really interested. So I reached out, talked to somebody for a brief moment, found out it was really expensive and gave up. Fast forward a few months after that, I was not happy with the current position that I was in at my job, the amount of money I was making, the fulfillment that I was filling at work. So I looked back into coding boot camps. I did a bunch of research and found the one that I had originally contacted to be a good one and reached out again. I went through the whole process of applying, learning about the boot camp, talked to a graduate, met a couple of alumni, decided that it was something that I wanted to do, that I was able to do. So I went to the boot camp, graduated, got a job, and now we're here. So let's talk about what I liked and what I didn't like about my coding boot camp experience. Also, just so we're clear, I went to the coding boot camp called the Iron Yard, and I went to the Durham, North Carolina campus. The other campuses, I don't know that I can speak for, but in general, the Iron Yard is ran very similarly across all campuses and they seem to have a good track record regardless of where you go. So I'm gonna start off with the cons of coding boot camps, and I would say the biggest one for me was the price. They are very expensive. The one that I went to cost over $10,000 for a 12-week program. That number is really disheartening when you first hear it. They have loans available and stuff like that, but it can definitely throw you off and make you feel like this isn't something that's right for you or maybe even a scam. The other big con that I have is that it was full-time and there was no way to really work during the boot camp. The workload is very intense. There's a lot of work. You put in a lot of hours, sometimes 80, 90 hours a week doing the work for your boot camp. at least the one that I went to. There are online part-time boot camps, and I'm sure there are in-person part-time boot camps. but if you want to really kickstart your career in coding and get there in like 12 weeks like I did, you're pretty much going to have to quit your job, which is also scary taking out a big loan or paying a big lump sum of money to learn how to do this. Now the positives for me, the biggest positive that I have for the boot camp that I went to is that in the market that we're in, the Raleigh Durham market, the Iron Yard is really well known. A lot of companies have hired Iron Yard grads. They feel comfortable and safe hiring them. And having that network there is a really good thing to know that you're not going to just go here, pay a bunch of money and be out of luck when you go on the job hunt because everybody's like, what the hell is this? Another big positive when it comes to the Iron Yard in Durham were the people from campus management to the instructors to the TAs. Everybody that I met there was awesome and willing to help. And still to this day, I've been graduated for uh, six, seven months now, and they still talk to me. And I know that I can always go to them if I ever need anything when it comes to navigating the job market and stuff like that. Another big positive of coding boot camps is that they're only 12 weeks long. So the boot camp can always shift what they're trying to teach. If you go to a traditional university, you're there for four years. And a lot of times the curriculum can be slow to catch up to where the technology is. A boot camp can reassess every 12 weeks. With the Iron Yard having an advisory board of local companies, they can always ask, hey, what are you guys hiring for? What's the thing that's like coming to the tech scene now that you guys need? And then they can implement that in their curriculum. That's very powerful and very good to stay on the cutting edge of what it is that you need to know. And then the biggest positive of my experience coming out of a coding boot camp is that I got a job. I'm now working in the industry that I went to school for, which is amazing and miraculous after only 12 weeks. Without the Iron Yard, it would have taken me much longer to learn this stuff on my own, and I probably would have never have done it because I needed that structure to get there. And they provided me with that. They provided me with support and finding a job. And that's what you really want when you're going to a coding boot camp is the skills to be able to do the things that you want to do, like work in code. There are a couple things to keep in mind when you're thinking about going to a coding boot camp. The first is, is this for you? Make sure you know that you want to code. It's a lot of time and a lot of money and a lot of effort to drop on something that if you get in the middle of, you find out you don't want to do. So make sure you do your research on if this is an industry that you really want to work in. Another thing to think about is the simple like monetary aspect of it. Is this something you can afford? Are you going to be in a better position coming out of the boot camp than you were before? Or would you be better served taking classes at a tech 
school or something like an online boot camp where you don't have to quit your job. It may take longer, but it may be better for you in the long run. And then the biggest thing to keep in mind is to do your research. Not all coding boot camps are created equally. Not all markets are created equally. Make sure that where you are or where you want to live is somewhere that's going to be hiring people from the program that you're graduating from. Make sure they have a track record of putting people in places that you want to work. Because if you finish a boot camp and then the job market isn't there, then you're either gonna have to move or you've wasted your money. So make sure that that market is where it needs to be for you to find a job. Just make sure you do enough research to where you're completely comfortable to do this. If you have any questions or concerns about the boot camp, make sure you ask them. See if the boot camp will let you talk to people who have already graduated. See if it'll let you talk to the instructor before you sign on the dotted line. If they don't, that's a red flag. You should make sure that you're able to ask every question and get every answer that you need. Also remember that the people who you're talking to at the boot camp are there to sell you on the experience of the boot camp. So make sure you back up everything they say with research that you do on your own because they're going to obviously try to make it sound like it's the best experience you could ever have and it may or may not be. With all of that in mind, I will say that my decision to go to the Iron Yard in Durham was one of the best decisions I've ever made in my life. It has completely changed my life as far as career and fulfillment goes. I wouldn't be in the position that I am today without them and I owe them a great debt. Alright guys, that's all I have today about my experience at a coding boot camp. If you have any questions and you want to reach out about boot camps, the Iron Yard or boot camps in general, feel free to reach out. You can leave something in the comments below. You can also email me. I'm Aaron, the letter N, beta at gmail.com. If you like this video, hit that thumbs up because they make me smile. And if you like what I'm doing here, you want to follow along in my journey, feel free to hit subscribe. As always, thank you for watching. I appreciate you guys so much and I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Bye.